On episode 89 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Crawl, written by Michael and Sean Rasmussen and directed by Alexandre Aja, starring Kaya Scordelario and Barry Pepper. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just got back from seeing the movie Crawl. April gives this movie two and a half stars, and I give it three and a half stars. We'll tell you all about it right after these two trailers. All right. The first one is Ready or Not. A bride's wedding night takes a sinister turn when her eccentric new in-laws force her to take part in a terrifying game. Uh, The release date's August 23rd. It's Samara Weaving, Andy McDowell, and Mark O'Brien. It looks very, very strange. (laughs) I think it kind of looks silly myself. Yeah. Anyway, but it was really good to see Andy McDowell again. The second trailer is The Hunt. Rich people kidnap victims and take them to an annual hunt on a private island. But that time, I believe this is all about how they took the wrong people. Release date, September 27th. Betty Gilpin, uh, Hillary Swank, and Emma Roberts. Yeah, it looks interesting because Hillary Swank is the uh, antagonist in this movie. So yeah, she's, yeah, she's such a good actress. All right, so The Crawl. I have have to admit, when I first saw the trailers for this, and even now sitting here after watching this uh, movie and giving this a three and a half stars, I thought that the plot of this movie was silly. It's about a young woman while attempting to save her father during a Category 5 hurricane in Florida, finds herself trapped in a flooding house and must fight for her life against alligators. This movie was written by the Rasmussen brothers, Michael and Sean, and they're known for The Ward, The Inhabitants, and Dark Feed. And it was directed by Alexandre Aja for The Hills Have Eyes, High Tension, Horns, and Piranha 3D. (laughs) Um, It was basically a cast of two. We had Kaya Scordelero and Barry Pepper. And a whole bunch of CGI alligators. Exactly. Um, now he, Barry Pepper, he's from Saving Private Ryan. Saving right? Private Ryan. And I'm like one of the few people in the whole world who liked Battlefield Earth. And <laughs> Barry Pepper was the uh, protagonist in, in um, Battlefield right. Earth. So what about um, her? Uh, she's, she was Teresa in the um, Maze Runner movies. So That's the main female is. character in the Maze Runner movies. Okay. Um, runtime was 87 minutes. It was rated R for bloody... Creature violence and brief language. All right, April, back up that two and a half stars. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say, and and I, I'm upfront and honest. I've waited months to see this movie. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the alligators stories we hear more and more, but it was different. Set in Florida. Um, obviously, we just had a horrible hurricane a couple of years ago. I just, for some reason, I really wanted to see it. And yes, I think that for the plot, it was it, it was a decent movie. It just there were some of the things I didn't think the alligators looked very real. That was one thing for me. And um, let's see what else. Also, I just wish more of it had happened outside of the house, if that makes sense. But I think that was what was so cool about the movie. I mean, the the, the name of the movie Crawl it, it came into the, to the movie two different ways. The first and obvious way was that they were stuck in the crawl space beneath the house. But the second, more subtle way was the fact that uh, Haley's char- Haley was the name of the, the daughter, the character. She was a swimmer, and her her stroke was the crawl. So I thought that was clever. Ah, oh, you got that quickly. Yeah, I did. I'm, Took uh, me a little bit on that one. I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> yeah. Could be it was later tonight that we saw this. But I let's see, what do I want to say about this movie? Obviously, I was a competitive swimmer my whole life. Um, I love that part of it. Uh, I, I like that they kind of wove that in. Uh, daddy-daughter uh, things that had come up, too, with the sports. That was fun to kind of uh, watch a little bit. 
But I, I love the sense of family. She's really tough. I love seeing, especially, you know, our young adult women uh, characters that are strong. And she definitely is strong. Okay. So. Well, like I said, for me, you know, both April and I were, I don't know why, because as I said, the premise to this movie is just kind of silly. It's just plain old silly. Okay. But the trailers made me want to see this movie and I've been excited about seeing it. And for me, it didn't let me down. I mean, I was walked out of that movie thoroughly um, entertained. I thought the acting was great. As I said, it was basically a two person cast. There was a few other actors, but not really. And with the father and daughter, I thought there was a lot of levels to the characters. They weren't just horror movie slash adventure That's movie, true. action movie, uh, flat characters. There was depth to them. There was depth to the sto- their relationship, uh, how That's about true. the mother, the divorce, the sister. There's a lot right. of depth there. And, and I, I, thought, I will say that when we left the theater, too, every single person around us that we talked to really enjoyed the movie. So that's something to mention as well. Yeah, I think this movie's not going to do well at the box office because it is such a silly plot or such right. a premise. So it's not going to do well at the box office, but I think you should really go see it. It's it's entertaining. If you like a little bit of horror thriller movies and you like uh, CGI alligators yeah. uh, and a little bit of blood, I think you're going to enjoy this movie. I thought the <laughs> cinematography was really good. Yes, I thought this, uh, the storm effects. Yes, I thought that was really good, too. Um, the whole how they designed it, where it was in that house, the multi-layers of the house. I thought that was good. I thought the pace actually moved along. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a relatively well, short movie. What, what did you say? It's 86, 87 minutes? Uh, yeah. And it's rated, what, R for bloody creature violence in brief language? Right. So, but yeah, it, it certainly moved along quickly. Yeah, I thought the dialogue was fine. And again, I didn't have any issues with the acting. That wasn't what this was. I just think that there there could have been another layer to the movie. That's I'll leave it there. Were you entertained? You know, I was. Okay. I, I just wasn't. Um, you you want to bring it up to a three? No. Okay. Mm-mm. No, I'm pretty set on a, a two and a half, <laughs> maybe two and three fours. Okay. That's, so that's just bad. under a three. Because the acting was good. And it was different. We love different movies. That, that, that's not ever an issue uh, for Tim and I. I just thought this one was, I don't know. I just thought that they went that far with good acting. I just wish it had gone a little further. I, don't know. I guess for me, I had very low expectations for this movie. So for me, it was a pleasant surprise. I mean, come on. I mean, it, it was directed by the guy who gave us piranha 3d and if you've right. seen piranha 3d yes. you know what a oh god what a bad movie that yeah. is so i i did i had a look but the hills had i have eyes oh. yeah that was a pretty good oh, freaky no, movie no. so i uh, you know i i had low expectations it this movie surprised me i was pleasantly surprised and i okay. left entertained so there you go what about the score what'd you think about that score added to the movie once again so i, think I agree with you on that as well well thank you All right, so that is where we're at tonight. It is late. I rated it at a two and a half. Boo. (laughs) And I rated it at a three and a half. Hey, and don't forget, this is episode 89. There's only 10 more episodes to get your entry in for our $100 gift certificate giveaway for our 100th episode. Go out to he said, she said, movies.com forward slash contest and you'll see all the rules to getting us and there's only two rules to it so it's really simple and easy (laughs) to to get into this contest just send us the email and you're in all righty well listen i wanted to mention a couple things one uh we appreciate all your support we've actually uh seen several people lately at a few movies that's been fun i want to mention stranger things the movie that they filmed uh, the movie theater scene in, and you see it a couple times actually, is the very movie theater that is our sponsor, the Spring Cinema and Tap House in Sandy Springs, Georgia. So when you're watching um, Stranger Things, which is fabulous, by the way, uh, and you see the movie theater a couple scenes, know that is our theater. So come on out and see it for yourself after the renovation. It is fantastic, and we appreciate all your support. We'll see you at the movies. Yep. Thanks a lot for listening, and we'll see you at the movies.